I can wear, I can wear the same shirt for like a week. I don't, my, my shirts don't smell. It's the bottoms I have to wash. I'm not moving to Brisbane. No, I'm not here to renew my visa. And the guy's like, okay, everyone sit back down because immigration is coming on board. And I was like, what? No, no, they're going to like investigate people. Why do you have to hold up the whole plane to investigate one person trying to get into Canada? Um, I'm moving here. Um, I can't stand the summer in Kuwait. It's bad for my health. What the hell? It can't be that high. Um, I need free health care. How can it be that high? What the f Because even no matter what my visa status would be there, I don't want to talk about that, but it would be expensive. So just think of, make whatever you want of that. If you want to think that I have this visa, that visa, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Fine. Whatever. But it is expensive. <laughs> just say that. Okay. So, um, well, blue pot. I mean, if I had DKA, I wouldn't be here looking statched, would I? No, I wouldn't. I have to worry about myself. <laughs> you address garlic saying I will get kicked out of the country June 17th. Listen. Yo, mama, there's some things that are just too stupid to comprehend. Shout out to yo mama for asking this softball question that was likely planted by Foodie Beauty so she'd be able to address the issue without acting like she cared about the issue. A shout out because it makes my job easier. So, hey, thanks. <laughs> I have no idea why Mr. Google one article. I mean, I don't know. Okay, then what? How about this? How about June 17th, babe? We uh, we have a really a nice party. So, like a picnic somewhere. I don't know. We'll do something. This is a yoga pose. You go like this. Something special. Emma, honey, honey, look at, look at this. I realize that Chantal and her beezers may believe that Mr. Google found one article about residency in Kuwait changing on June 17th, and that's all there is out there. You're very, very wrong if that's what you really think. As I mentioned in a previous video, the Emir of Kuwait has disbanded the entire parliament of the country, and for the next four years, the Emir and the Emir alone will be making all the decisions for how Kuwait will be reshaped. Part of that reshaping includes residency status, and residency includes stateless individuals, such as your fake husband, the stateless Syrian, who lives in Kuwait, allegedly, as a stateless Syrian. I don't believe I have ever, in any of your videos, seen any mention of Salah having residency status in Kuwait, which means his ability to live there is in great question as the Emir continues these changes. So let's look at another Mr. Google One article that came out on the 29th, just yesterday as I'm recording this video, the 29th of May. This is not a one article issue. Changes are coming to Kuwait at the Emir's discretion with no parliament to stop him. And I fully believe that your fake Syrian husband and you will eventually be impacted. Will it be June 17th? Maybe not. Go have a picnic. That's great. But it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Comprehensive plan targets residency violators. Stateless. Kuwait City. May 29th. A comprehensive plan is underway to address residency violators and Kuwaitis whose nationalities have been withdrawn. Expatriates staying illegally in the country and stateless persons. Be down with a focus on humanitarian considerations. Spearheaded by the Central Apparatus for Illegal Residents, the initiative focuses on Bidown and is set to launch imminently, said al Siasa Daily quoting a reliable official source. The Daily added, Years of meticulous security arrangements have been undertaken to address this demographic. 
with preparations now at an advanced stage to implement strategies aligned with directives from higher authorities regarding individuals whose Kuwaiti nationalities have been or will be withdrawn. A distinct mechanism will be applied, characterized by a temporary exceptional treatment tailored to suit each case. This approach differs from the unified approach adopted for expatriate residency violators and will also diverge from expected procedures for legally residing stateless individuals. Be down. Let's go. Three, two, one. These efforts aim to track and take legal action against residency violators currently residing in the country. Amidst these developments, a renewed appeal is made to expatriates violating residency laws to utilize the grace period afforded to them, either by leaving the country or regularizing their status. The forthcoming campaign will encompass violators from all backgrounds and segments of society, with a strong emphasis on addressing humanitarian concerns while upholding the rule of law and safeguarding national identity. Do you know how many camels I've kissed? I'm not making it at you. So, I guess I'll see you when I get back. Do you guys want me to go live on the drive home? It's fucking boring. And we can sing non-love songs. Love you guys.